Let's just say not a uh, not a good start to this video. My uh, wonderful, expensive Mavic controller is not working, so I'm just <laughs> I've just like factory reset it, and it now requires a couple hundred megawatt update. So I'm just sitting in the car. Uh, just up Harvey's Range, by the way. Uh, if you don't know where that is, well, uh, Google Maps. Is your friend because I probably won't post a map. I always forget. Uh, if you live here and you don't know where that is, well, maybe you should open your front door and go outside. The uh, reason why I'm out this way is uh, just a just a quick trip today. It's I've been like really sick the last week, so no video. Um, just you know, sitting around at home, feeling feeling sorry for myself, complaining. Uh, but um, been something something added. I've been planning on coming out and looking at it for a while and trying to find um there's a bunch of uh like aboriginal artwork tucked around in the bushes out here it's pretty undocumented so i'm just going to go to like the one one easy the easiest location that i know of and just have a poke around and see what we can find yeah i was i was hoping to get some oh my god there we go better shooting on the osmo pocket by the way with uh the atrocity that is its face tracking oh it drives me insane yeah, I'm um, down down the bottom of the hill there. I, I just just can't the top it uh, to shoot some drone footage, but that's uh, obviously not happening. Sorry, it's just making weird sounds in my lap here, doing its update. Uh, but down the bottom of the hill, a uh, location I, I know about, but I've never actually stopped that is uh, there's a big boulder section down the bottom. I was just going to go have a bit of a poke around there and see what we can find, and look, make a video out of it just to. Uh, just an easy one, just uh, get back outside after I feeling like crap for a week. A uh, couple videos planned out here actually for, I guess, the coming weeks, which should be fun. So I'm, I actually want to go out and explore. I don't know why I'm pointing out that way a bit more. Um, down Page Road, a couple of the dirt trails down there, and go check out the old cemetery and see if there are any of the old structures there are still standing from the old like early 1900s to late 1800s highway and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna just sit here for a bit and wait and see if I can get the technology to cooperate. It's not looking hopeful, so it'll be a nice fun afternoon of uh, dealing with DJI chat support who are renowned for their customer service. Anyway, uh, I'll come back to you in a minute if I can get this going, otherwise, I might see you in the air and we'll get some of that tasty aerial b-roll happening. success on the drone part still still are uh, still really annoying tell you about that smart controller has been more trouble than it's worth to be honest thousand dollars and it is uh, look it's a great screen but it's 
functionality wise it's kind of a piece of shit so uh, small regret there on my part all right I'm just gonna get up to these boulders to um somewhere a little less in the uh, sticks the luck I've had this morning though I'll probably um slip down and break my ankle and land on a hundred snakes let's not do that tell you what but if I don't find any of these paintings um this boulder area is actually pretty cool they are massive not far um, off the main road either the main road is just there as you'll see off this car about to go past like I just said, this is an excellent spot for a bit of a bit of rock, rock hopping or bouldering. I'll say bouldering. Oh, there's so many. I don't even know where to start. There's um not much documentation of. the artwork and whatnot around here which is a bit of a shame I find this stuff like kind of interesting and I'm gonna be rather happy if I do find something but um yeah not a lot of documentation um I got the information from here ages ago off uh, I think it was the Wonder Stories page um, those guys get out a lot know their shit so but even, even then it was just artwork on boulders beside main road, so I might uh, jump on my phone soon and see if I miss something, but I'm just gonna just gonna head up and have a kick around the sticks, I think. I think from memory from uh, my reading, this was like Well, obviously the old highway over there, but this was um, actually this area here was used as, I guess, an old um, Aboriginal highway. So, and there was a few, there's, there's quite a few spots, like I said earlier. Uh, Fred's Peak region, at the Pinnacles. Mount Stewart's got some. Um, Mount Louise has got some. Apparently it's been uh, completely vandalized, of course, because why would you want to keep intact you know a bit of a bit of history but that's living in towns for you so good work guys it's a big rock i would love to get on top of that if i can and uh get a drone shot I'm just gonna trudge my way up through up through this. I just wedged a stick under it. Holy shit, that was difficult. Oh cool, so I can definitely get on that big rock there. I think head around behind it. <laughs> yeah, like I said in this past video, there's Quite a um, fair bit of interesting little things out here. I know I've ranted about it before. Um, I like to rant. This is just another one of those uncapitalized areas. Like this whole area could be, especially the old highway, if you'd you know, done that up a little bit and maybe even rebuilt some of the structures out there. Um, 
Could be a bit of a tourist attraction, but you know the old Queensland and Townsville governments. Not really, not really interested in, in that and uh, making the place better. Um, <laughs> so all we can do is just come and enjoy it uh, the difficult way. I suppose in a way it's good too, like a lot of people don't know that these areas are even here, so it's nice to have nice to have um, some little secrets I guess. That rock is just massive. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but that is huge. I don't think there's any way of getting up on top of it. We're gonna try, but it's just really, really overgrown. But since last time I was out trudging around this way of that rain we had recently, oh my god! I said it before, and I'll say it again. The face track on the Osmo Action is an absolute abomination. Like that. It's not my face. <laughs> this thing's been out for like quite a while now. You'd think they'd um fix it or uh, uh, wait, you can you can turn it off but it instantly goes back on. So if you tap it, it turns off. There we are. And then boom. Back on. So let me turn it off and just have the gimbal facing because it's such a good camera but when you're in uh, I guess selfie mode uh, so you can see your face on the screen um, it's a fucking nightmare I'd use the, um, the action of course but I don't have a mic adapter for that and I like to use a microphone when I can Oh wow. That looks fun. Okay, so there is definitely just no getting up on that. From what I can see, anyway. That sort of goes down underground. But being Australia, it's probably full of things that are like to hide underground that want to hurt you. I don't think I'll go climbing down there. Could have some sense, I guess. Look, if I don't find any artwork, it's still um, still nice being out in the bush. I guess it's the bush. The main road's just there, but. Tell you what, I forgot about up here, up there anyway. Just how much colder it gets up on the hill. It was like six degrees up there this morning. I love the cold, but it's pretty windy today and uh, I wasn't the most comfortable sitting up there uh, getting mad at the drone. All right, I might stop here for a bit and I'll pull out my phone and see if I can Try and source some better directions. Nothing, no help at all. <laughs> Just says at the base of Harvey's Range beside the road. Now there is there is the um the map dot point on there that I had from a while ago on some large on some large boulders there is Aboriginal artwork. 
Now I don't know how well you can see, but there are boulders everywhere. So we're going to do this the hard way, eh? love to get up on top of that. It's not going to happen today. Like I said, I've been sick the last week. Like I also said, a lot of whinging, but I was pretty sick. Uh, thanks to the children picking up their daycare diseases. They gifted me of that, which was much appreciated. So I'm um, still like all grossed up so I don't really feel like exerting myself too much oh, I gotta watch these rocks all that loose shit there it's that nice overhang down there I'm gonna go look at that nothing that's kind of cool but <laughs> ah. Oh good, this paper wasp nest right there, of course. God, I hate wasps. Just burn them all. I think I found something, but... Could be completely wrong. I don't want to touch it just in case it is, but nah, that might just be the colouring of the rock. Doesn't look natural to a butt, does it? I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not gonna hang on that one too much. From the images I um have seen, they're a bit more defined as pictures so well there's nothing on this big massive boulder I'm gonna go um trudge up to the other side and see if there's anything at the base of those ones oh yeah this is where I was uh, looking down at before that's really cool you'd think if they're anywhere they'd be up under these sheltered parts here, but I can't see anything. Why don't I have a bit of a closer inspection? That's a really cool spot, but. It was a little bit sketchy uh, being under <laughs> God knows how many tons of rock, but <laughs> she feels solid.
Hey guys, it's me from editing here. So I actually recorded a whole section up further, walking through a really awesome crevice similar to this, which you'll see again soon. But uh, the files are missing, so the tech issues continued. Anyway, back to it. So that was um. Pretty cool climb through there, I must say. Oh. You see down, you see down. And it just keeps going. Oh, there's just more structures. I don't know if you can see. Up behind me, it's just that the bush is just so thick and viney. There's a bit of a creek too that goes up behind. I don't know if you can see it on there, but up through the boulders, up through there. I imagine this would um, look pretty cool after a really, really heavy rainfall. Holy fucking shit. You are not going to believe this. That is... Holy shit. That is the biggest snake I have ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and crop in. I've got... um. I've got a DSLR in my bag. I'll gr try and grab that out as quiet as I can. Well, we're not going that way. I love snakes. And that is the biggest snake I've ever seen in my life. That is fucking massive. All right, I am gonna um, just be really gentle because he doesn't look too happy that I am like two meters away from him. Uh, it's why you get really careful in the bush. Because that thing's huge and I did not see it until I was nearly right on top of it. I'm just gonna record on my phone for a second, just cause I know it'll zoom in a bit further than I, even though it's gonna look like garbage, I apologize. Oh my God, he is awesome. Wow. Sorry, I hope that looks okay, but. <laughs> he goes all the way there. He or she, I don't know. I don't know how to tell the difference between a fucking snake, male and female. Oh my god. Oh no, wait, I'm wrong. There's two of them. Let's find the head. There's one there. And then just up behind there, there's another one. So I'm trying to find, there we are. So I've just pulled out the uh, DSLR. I've only got a 24 to 70 on here though, so I'm not gonna be able to get. I'm gonna take a guess and say the big one here is the female and the small one at the back is male. The body on that one is enormous. Can you see through? Sorry, I'm probably just gonna focus on the tree here. All 
I'm happy. I don't care about finding paintings now. A uh, couple of big carpet pythons, that's awesome. I might um, duck back the way I came and leave them alone. Especially because the big one's just a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, she's just poised up a little bit, so... Let's um, leave them alone. Let them get back to what they're doing. Oh, that's... That's a weird thing to make your day, but that just made my day. Awesome creatures. Like most creatures that have a bit of danger attached to it, uh, just leave them be. Especially snakes, they play, um, they do play a large part in the ecosystem of the world, so I always hate when people kill snakes, even the poisonous ones. Just call someone or, you know, unless it's going to be like an immediate threat to your family or some shit, don't go reaching for the shovel straight away. Especially pythons. They have no interest in eating human beings or attacking human beings. They are more scared of you than, um, or well, sometimes are of them, so. <laughs> Especially ones like that, that size. Like that, that big one would be pushing the three to four meter mark. I didn't realize there was two of them at first, but um, yeah, the other one a little bit smaller, so I'm just guessing that's the male. Uh, the male's usually smaller in pythons, so. Yeah, they're just chilling. Or rooting, who knows. I'm gonna head back um, down the way I came. Might check out one last boulder formation. Um, and call it a day, um, that's enough for me. I'm happy, I'm happy now. Honestly, it's actually very rare that you do even see snakes when wandering around in here. Like I said, they're usually like, people obviously aren't a fucking food source of a snake they're not going out of their way to harm you they hear you coming they think you're a threat and they usually piss off the other way so very rarely do see them I've actually seen them more in more in town though anyway they um two meter brown brown snake skin in our backyard a few weeks ago Which was a little worrying with the uh, dogs and the kids and whatnot, but I haven't found him since. Just his skin, a big bastard though. It's like the uh, the max size that Browns get. So like these spots in here are just absolutely perfect, perfect python habitat. It was just lucky I um, <laughs> I stopped actually. <laughs> just stopped to uh, muck around with the camera and otherwise I would have walked straight on top of them and although they're oh, obviously not venomous, I don't feel like having a mouth that was the size of, its head would have been as big as my hand, uh, latching onto any part of my body. Still cause some damage. All right, let's go check out one more rock and um, call it there. Good view, but. Just a shame all the uh, undergrowth is so thick. Let's uh, get down this boulder and hop up into that big one in front of us there.
there's still all these boulders over there they're big formations but not my luck that's it's probably the fucking Mona Lisa of Aboriginal paintings over there and I'm tra traipsing around in the other direction but I love snakes that was cool I've not seen a big carpet python like that since I was a kid we had one in our shed so that was cool to come across two of them out in the wild all right I'm gonna try and get up on this boulder I can't see anything honestly bit of a shame look like the page I was looking at it's a couple years old so like who knows like if something something undocumented something undocumented like that um like every good reason it could have washed off but you know, if it's lasted hundreds of years what's what would have been a couple more years so who knows might have to send him a message actually and um get some better direction because there's photos on there but uh, another another spot out here that's supposed to have them is over near uh, the tunnels where we a few videos go now with Finlay. Uh, on that ridge line behind the tunnels there, up through the creek, there's supposed to be um, some painting. So I'm planning on heading back out that way. It's that's a good spot. That good good photo spot anyway. Something a bit different to go and explore, even if you've been there a few times in the area. Like this, I guess. I'm thinking next video, I might, um, road's just there, I might. Where are we? There we are. Literally where I'm parked right now, there's a road that goes down there, and it's probably about a K and a half in. There's uh, the old, old graveyard. It's oldest grave in Townsville, apparently. Um, so, go for a bit of a walk and, um, <laughs> disturb the dead, you know. Yeah, for the next video, anyway. I just wanted to get out today, get outdoors and get up here, get some fresh bush air. Kind of in the bush, we're only off. We'll make a video and get back into the swing of things. This is just a good one to start off. Um, at least we found something anyway. Wasn't what uh, I intended, but I'm not going to complain of that. Still pissing me off, still pissing me off, face track. My God. <laughs> I sit here for 10 minutes, um, I chucked the drone back up in the air. Oh, I got a, <laughs> had the factory reset it, so I got a few goddamn settings I gotta go back through and adjust to my liking. So I might, uh, might get some uh, more shots here as a bit of an outro, I guess. Other than that, uh, it's ended up being a longer video than I intended. Sorry, I do tend to ramble a lot too. Once again, which is weird because I, I don't like talking to people, so... Inanimate object is completely fine. But yeah, our next video, we might duck across the road and go down that trail and find the old graveyard and see what structures are left. Other than that, it's today, Tuesday. Um, have a good rest of the week. Uh, make sure you uh, do all the YouTube shit and... hate saying it, subscribe or share or... Give me a, just give me a like. Come on, I got scratched up and nearly stepped on a giant snake. Give me a like. Other than that, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I'm starting to lose my voice again, so I'm gonna go. Otherwise, I'm just gonna talk myself out of a voice, doing it again. All right, have a good week, guys. Catch the next one. Uh, some photos, maybe, on Instagram, etc., etc. Later.